and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Burn. We're going to bring this back uh, after about a week ago was when the last time we played it. And we were thinking that Noxus was going to get nerfed um, quite a bit, um, which would maybe make this deck a little weaker. But honestly, it didn't really. We have Crimson Disciple that got nerfed. Yes, Crimson Disciple only deals one to the enemy Nexus instead of two now. That's a change. That's kind of about it. Some people think that the Legion Grenadier was nerfed. I honestly think it was buffed. <laughs> like, I actually think this is a better card than what it was before. I think being a 3-2 is so much different than being a 3-1. That actually does, it's actually more impactful now. Obviously, there are times um, whenever your opponent's at 2, I guess, and then and then you have this and you wish it dealt the 2. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really like the new Legion Grenadier. So yeah, we're gonna try we're gonna try this deck out. Now, um, like the the last time we basically we had two transfusions to Gangplank. Gangplank was really good though. I really want to play three Gangplank, and I couldn't really find a way to put a third Gangplank in here. I decided I'm gonna try taking out a transfusion for a Gangplank. Um, we'll kind of see. Maybe we'll end up wanting that extra transfusion back in there and take out something else. Let's think about maybe taking out an auction for her as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was really impressed with Make It Rain last time, especially with our powder kegs, right? With like Dreadway Deckhand. Um, it was really good with that. With Gangplank making the powder kegs, Make It Rain was really good there. And it also just paired well with like the Misfortune uh, trigger also. It just made blocking pretty tough, which is kind of what this deck does. It's, it's um, you know, kind of like the, the new burn deck instead of using a P and Z, using Bilge Water. Um, but yeah, that's the one card is I want a second transfusion, but finding room for it is difficult. Maybe a decimate, but I don't know. Decimate's really strong. I, I think Sprayfin's really strong in this deck. I don't think you cut that. Um, even though we, it, we don't have like a ton of targets for Sprayfin, but it's basically always, it's grabbing one of these three, right? It's grabs Make It Rain, Noxion Fervor, or Transfusion. And so that just gives you more reach to the enemy Nexus. And of course it's an elusive body, which is really nice as well. Um... So there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, give this one a try. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. Hey, Grace Claw. Yeah, we're going to try Heimerdinger Lux um, in a little bit. Uh, um, and then Digimon, yes, definitely. Um, yeah, anything can. Uh, yeah, so we're just about, we're starting here, Cabo. Um, oh, yeah, not, oh, yeah, not, uh, we call, I guess we called that one, like, the Mage Seeker Thresh, the Spooky Lux. Hey, Quillabont. Awesome, Tizzle, glad you liked the Spooky Sedgewani from yesterday. All right, playing Ezreal Twisted Face. This is a deck that's good at killing one health units. I'm going to mulligan, I'm mulliganing the Noxion Fervor and I kind of want to mulligan this Demolitionist also, actually. So, I, ideally, they don't have a way to kill the Saboteur and the Saboteur can attack. Cool. Well, that's even better for me trading my one drop for Mystic Shot instead of trading my one drop for their one drop. Just a better trade mana wise. And I don't mind that I didn't spend both my mana next turn, this past turn, because then I'll still have, you know, I have four mana now. It's not like that mana goes away. That's a good card. All 
All right, so Misfortune's definitely alive if I play Transfusion. It's the riskiest of the plays, but this is also the highest upside of the plays. Yeah. It wasn't perfect, but I'll take, like that's, you know, perfect would be all three of their units, but I will take that as well. That's just no damage on my on either of mine. That worked very well. Uh, Cabo, I, I, what what did you change? Oh yeah, I really like Make It Rain, and this is also I think that there's a lot of just things that Make It Rain kills these days. I think it's a very good card. I yeah, I definitely wanted to play three Make It Rains. Um, so I'm only playing the one transfusion. I wish I could have a second transfusion. Um, yeah, I think I transfusion and save it. Could go not. I wouldn't hate just going Noxion Fervor, kill the Ezreal. Took out Saboteur and added three Elixir of Wrath. No, I, I mean I'm glad I'm definitely glad we had that Saboteur. Our, our hand would be a lot worse if we didn't have if if we had Elixir of Wrath. No, I don't, I don't really like that change. Uh, yeah, let's go straight to attacks. I think. Yeah. It is tempting to play the spray fin first. Cool. Those petty officers are good blockers. I like those uh, being I like those being gone. Man overboard, if I play Decimate, I tap out of Noxion Fervor range. It's fine. Where are you at? Yeah, Ezreal's only 4 out of 8. Yeah, I've changed the donation deck price back to the 10,000 points instead of the 15,000. Uh, because now I'm not as uh, clogged up as I was before with donation decks, so it's okay again. I only got like one donation deck in the last uh, two days. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. All right, GGs. They're not, they're not coming back from that. That's how we I, of course, I would not just play the Noxion Fervor and let them respond to it. I want to just throw it out there. We'd save it, but yeah, they, they weren't coming back. Yeah, for dollars it's ten dollars. Set channel points. That's that's of course the one that I would greatly prefer, obviously. But uh, I want to also reward people that are here in in uh, in the channel, watching all the time. I do have two donation decks that I of decks that I need to create. I want to wait just a couple of days with those of the letting the metagame settle. I'll probably have those for tomorrow. One's supposed to be a Gangplank and uh, Captain Farron deck from Potato saying, title it, Oh Captain, My Captain. I don't know if I'm going to title it, Oh Captain, My Captain, but you know, it's a... It's a Captain deck. Um... And the other one is supposed to be an Elise Callista Katarina deck.
Yeah, I don't. I don't hate Narwhal. We talked about that one. I. I honestly don't hate Narwhal. I. Uh, the Golden Narwhal. Now it's a two mana, two three elusive with vulnerable. I still think the Crimson Disciple is probably a better card for the deck. I'm going to be keeping the Crimson Disciple, but I don't hate Narwhal. If I block here, then whatever they block Misfortune, then they just gain the two life. It really doesn't matter whether or not I block. I mean, I just save a life, basically. And I have the one damage go to Grenadier instead of the one damage go to Misfortune. So I don't necessarily want that. Wander is a problem. Wander is still a problem. Why do they got why do they gotta have two Dreadbloom Wanderer and this Thorny Toad against our burn deck? War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Why do they gotta be doing that? It's really good for them because you know not only is it perfect blocker with the life steal and everything, then the toss three also a really good enabler. Good card. Okay, speaking of good cards, that's one right there. So these should c combine together, take down the Dreadboom Wanderer, they don't get to gain any life. From that, they'll still gain two life from, from that thing, but that was a perfect draw. Man, Mega Rain combined with Misfortune has looked clutch in these two games. And if they go like Grasp the Undying, I have the Noxion Fervor. Uh... I don't really need to Noxion Fervor that thing, do I? I don't think so. If I play Crimson Disciple, next turn we'll have seven mana, so I won't have both of these available. Um, yeah, Make It Rain with the Powder Gags and stuff is also quite nice. Kind of well set up against Withering Whale with the double Crimson Disciple. Hey, Potato. Good morning. I was talking about probably going to be making your... My plan is to make your donation deck for tomorrow, Gangplank. 
Captain Farron. It's probably gonna probably gonna go like a control route. Like Bilgewater Noxus control with Gangplank and Swain. Man. All the thorny toads. I love a taste of the action. So just attack number three for Misfortune, so we're not going to have attack number four until next turn, at the earliest. I'm still happy. Yeah, no, I'm still, still definitely, definitely like Transfusion. I think it's a, it's a good card. I don't know, I like, I like this list, Cabo. Crimson Disciple still good. Transfusion still good. Okay. So options. Well, I could go transfusion to save Miss. Fortune. Let's see, if I do that, they take one here, they would take an additional five. They gain the three, so that, that would put them down to one. Or I go Noxion Fervor, they take three, they don't gain three, so that's them taking an additional six, which means they're dead. So, I think we do that. And they're dead. And I got another Noxion Fervor. If they want to go another Grass of the Undying in response, we can keep this going. We can do this all day. This is pretty nice. We beat three Thorny Toads, two of the Dread Blue Wanderer, the 3 2 Lifesteal, and Grass the Undying. All of that kind of stuff. And they're still dead, what, like turn six? Maybe turn seven? I guess that was turn seven. this deck's pretty strong especially early in a format like this it's usually a good time to be playing a real aggressive deck when people are still kind of testing stuff out it's not really a new format because all it is is just a couple of cards changed it's an old format with just some card changing nice potato Glad to hear. So I'm mulliganing the deckhands because I don't have anything to go along with them. You know, I, I'm keeping deckhand. You know, deckhand plus make it rain is amazing, but without make it without uh, make it rain, we don't need it. <sighs> Do we just have the 1-3 drop in this deck? Because, yeah, I could see maybe not playing 3 deck hand and maybe playing, like, 1 or 2 deck hand and then playing 1 or 2 um, Petty Officers, where Petty Officers can be good even when you don't need the um, the barrel. I have 
my orders. Come on, let me go. Yeah. Really glad no one mana removal spell. Go double butcher. He started without me. There's plenty of killing there. Very glad no one mana removal spell. All right, well, good enough. Took down Jaw Hunters. That was the important one. Could have been better, you know, taking out Jaw Hunters and the Spiderling. That could have been better. Good enough. Damn it. So they're playing they're playing uh Twisted Fate Swain. So control deck. Bunch of removal and stuff. This will put them down to 10. This will put them down to 6. We want to draw a Gangplank. Zap Spray Fin. Not really Crimson Disciple. Disciple's good against uh, Twisted Fate Red Card. If they're trying to set that up. Ugh, that's annoying. How are we gonna get six more damage across? It's gonna be the question. Zap spray fin. Gonna be a great draw. I guess I attack with Demolitionist. I don't really know why I wouldn't. Wait a minute. That was a great one drop to hit with Petty Officer. Getting them that other card draw. Basically looking for any spell that does some damage. Or zap spray fin. There it is. There's the spray fin. Because spray fin either gets us Noxion Fervor or Make It Rain or Transfusion. 50% Noxion Fervor. 30%. Never lost a fair game. Something for all. Keep up, keep up. Uh, make it rain. Alright, well, if Gangplank doesn't die, Gangplank is vulnerable, but if Gangplank doesn't die, we'll get Looks another um, powder keg at the beginning of the turn. Let's hope it for Noxion Fervor. That'd been, that would have been really nice for Noxion Fervor. 
Uh, here, you can just block them. Oh, wait, oh, I, this should just be blocking. I clicked the okay. Yeah, I could have saved two life. Gonna save two life. Um. Yeah. Is lit. I don't know if this is worth it. Like, if I should just go straight to attacks or not. Kind of see. Like, if I would have gone straight to attacks, Disciple would have definitely done damage, but I guess this thing's definitely going to do damage now. Ooh, got some fighting, yeah. Ouch. Man, I really wish we would have grabbed Fervor. We had a 50% chance of grabbing Fervor. Just waiting on this because we have like the different barrel cards. There's the fervor. Fervor is lethal if they don't have removal with that four mana. I, I'm scared of passing turn and then the, them just do it, you know, just... I don't know, should I be scared of them pa of passing turn? Probably not. How is Flock a threat? Yeah, yeah, if we go to the next turn, Ravenous Flock would be a problem. Right. Which is why I, yeah, yeah, I don't want to go to the next turn because, yes, then Ravenous Flock would be a problem. That's why I just play the Mega Rain. See, maybe they play something else. Like, maybe they will, you know, maybe they play something to try to kill the Grenadier to have this kill me. Let's see what you can do. All right, so hopefully no removal. Think we got him? Boom. That was close. We, we got the fervor just in time. Man, that was so close. We finally found Noxion Fervor. <laughs> so we... Spray Thing can get six total spells. You know, three of them are Noxion Fervor. Oh no, it can get seven spells. Right, so it can get seven spells. Sorry, it can get seven spells, three of them Noxion Fervor. We had one Make It Rain earlier, so there's only... So that's what I meant. So there's only six left. So three out of the six were the, were the fervors for the Spray Thing drawing. I want to keep a deck hand. Not really.
Are there better two mana cards? If I had, like... Like, the thing is, is... Is the... The deck hand was not a very good t turn to play. Or these are going to be a lot better turn two plays. Pretty good looking hand. So basically, oh gosh, they had vision. Oh, my block was horrific against vision. I thought it was good against spinning axe. Yeah, horrific against vision. I was just thinking the spinning axe. That was a horrific block against vision. GG's, great hand. Wow. Yeah, great hand. GG. Keep up, keep up. Turn one, put two bodies into play. Turn two, put two more bodies into play. Turn three, Draven plus Vision. That's pretty perfect. Yeah, this this discard deck's really good. You know, like we you know we played it. You know, whenever we played it the other day, we you know we. Did great with it. it it's a it's a really good deck. It's really tempted to fervor and kill Draven, but I like that I'm killing that thing. This deck that we're playing against is a reason why I thought that we need to play three Make It Rains, right? Like, this is why I, I certainly wanted to move to three Make It Rains. Uh, because of their ability to go wide. Let's do this! I'm not going on the 2-3, I'm going on these 3-2s, because these 3-2s three are going to die no matter what they block anyway, so there's not, right now, for how the board is, there's not a difference between a 3-1 and 3-2. Well, now there's a difference. Um... Death 
doesn't scare me. It scares me. Your path ends here. Sure about that? for the money makers. Hoping this works out, hoping we get to kill the Draven. Uh, worried about that. Basically like them just playing another Draven, but of course this one's the 5-3. So, even though De we can play Decimate this turn, I don't want to play Decimate this turn because I want to level up Gangplank. The thing is, do I play Gangplank right now or not? And I guess the answer is yes. Dead men tell my tale. And then next turn I cast Decimate. But then that gets rid of my Powder Keg. But then we have a leveled up Gangplank. I guess, I guess they just have five points of burn. Yep. That was pretty close. Like, we were... even Like, they had a ridiculous hand. And we almost won that. Right? Like, we're, we're right there at the end. Even with their ridiculous hand. We were right there. Wasn't wasn't like we were too far off. Um, if I like don't block with the misfortune, maybe we would have won that. Who knows? Or or block differently with misfortune and crimson disciple. Then they'd still would have you know if I would have just blocked the two one ones, they would. have Still killed the misfortune, but then I would have had the Crimson Disciple that could have saved me like four life blocking the Drave in the next the previous turn. Or like the the turn after that. The attack after that. Well that wasn't that wasn't too far away. So I so Karma Ezreal, I like all these cards. This is a slower hand for sure without any one mana card. Oh, I don't we don't need Mega Rain. Never mind, we'll just get rid of that. Let's But I kinda like these. Three. Let's hopefully find one drop. Okay. We don't have the attack token on turn one. Like, if we did have the attack token on turn one, I'd probably be a little bit more aggressive looking for a one mana card. But that wasn't the case. So we didn't have to be as aggressive looking for a one mana card. I love a taste of the action. With my spirit, not my fist. Mm. Hmm. Let me show you what I can do. I don't have an opinion on Demacia versus Discard Acro. You'd have to narrow down just the entire region of Demacia for like a, a you know, you'd have to give me a deck. But I, 
and I'd probably have to just see more games. It's just we're so new with this. We're so new into this new discard aggro that it's really hard to have. Like you know, I I don't want to just make stuff up. I don't you know I, I don't really have an opinion on like what it, what's favored with or against it or anything. It's As you can tell, certainly considering not playing anything and going right to attacks. That's what I was just really, really debating upon. Sorry about that, like 10, 15 seconds or something there. Delicious. Your attack is obvious. Yeah, duh. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, like a you know bannerman, a bannerman deck first that that would be interesting to to try out. You know, I'm gonna I'll probably play one of those tomorrow, either Zed Shen or Bannerman Brom. Playing one of those tomorrow. I'm interested. This doesn't change a damn thing between us. <laughs> if you insist. They can kill yeah. I was gonna say they can kill the barrel. Just life. Said Radiant Guardian Rex discard aggro, sure, but it's it's not like Radiant Guardian is a guarantee. Like that's a real that's a difficult card to pull off. That's not a guarantee. By any stretch. That was pretty great for them. Let's get a good Ideally, we'd be able to play the deck hand, get another powder keg. Misfortune trigger means these don't get to block through the powder keg. Ideally, but if I, you know, play deck hand to get the powder keg, it's very easy with only one health on the misfortune for them to kill the misfortune. That was a pretty awesome turn. Everything's coming up Millhouse for them. We may lose to Karma Ezreal. May. Still not super likely. Y'all know my, my feeling on Karma Ezreal. I don't think this deck's any good. My opponent's deck where we beat it almost every time we play against it, but... Things are coming up pretty well for them, so maybe we'll lose.
Well, this is tough. They're tapped out, so Decimate definitely does damage. But I think that it's better for us to go wide. Suppose I should leave you. If they don't break, they'll burn. A few for the many. And they're probably going to be spending a lot of mana interacting. Clear it out. I'll buy us some time. Let's do this. Time to get rich. Act with conviction. And then maybe, maybe Decimate finishes them out. Not quite. So they're going down to one with Decimate. Yeah, Karma created that Static Shock. That was that was a great Static Shock. They. They've had they've had great stat static shock value this game for sure. No one's the Three worst. static shocks that were all fantastic. All right, couple of bad draws for me. The one drops in the late game here. So it looks like. Looks like they'll win this one. You can't do this. But we'll see. We could always just draw like a decimate and maybe they don't have any more healing. You never know. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Just not worth playing stuff pre combat into their deck with uh, letting them get different blockers out and stuff like that. Definitely wanted spell, not units. Because of that. GG's. So yeah, I'd love... I'll play that matchup all the time. Basically play against that deck all the time. That doesn't mean... Doesn't mean, you know, I'm gonna win 100% of them. They high-rolled quite well. And... They got that one. Um... But yeah, so the Gangplank burn, this, the deck felt very solid. Uh, you know, we lost, both of our games that we lost were decks, you know, with like their top 5% of, of possible draws kind of thing. Like, you know, like they, both of our, our losses were ones where we got our opponent, you know, like we were close to winning, but they just had, um, you know, great hands. And 
that's okay. The Dreadway Deckhand looked to be our worst card in our deck. Um, that could, you know, so that could maybe change. I think, as we talked about, I think I'd want to have... Maybe kind of switch that up. I don't think you need three Deckhands. Maybe play like one... I'm going to get another Transfusion back in here and a Petty Officer. Or... Instead of Petty Officer, maybe a Island Navigator. Play Navigator before. That N Navigator can just get you like that extra Misfortune attack, which is pretty nice. I think I'll pro probably get a Navigator in here. Um, could just play, could just take out the deck hand completely and just play Petty Officer there. So, you know, that would make the deck go up a little bit, but just take those out, play a, tran play a second Transfusion. And then a Petty Officer and an Island Navigator. Maybe just two Island Navigators. Um, really help out Misfortune a lot. Um, and it's also a big body. We, we've seen, like, the... You know, like, as we played against that discard, I think there's going to be a lot of, like, little aggro decks and stuff like that. This is a nice, large body uh, as well. It gets you multiple... Helps helps your transfusion and stuff like that. Navigator's pretty cool. Um, so maybe that. Maybe just go to a navigator or a navigator petty officer. But yeah, I didn't I didn't really want those deck hands because basically the deck hands absolutely amazing with make it rain, but without make it rain, it's a pretty poor card. It's good. It's good with misfortune trigger. Also, it's it's good there. Um, but that's hard to set up, you know, because you have to, like, basically already have the Misfortune in play and then play the Deckhand afterwards, because otherwise they'll just challenge and kill your, um, your Powder Keg. Um, so yeah, maybe a couple of Navigators get another attack step with Misfortune, do another damage to them. That, that could be pretty sweet. I... I can definitely see liking that. Um, all right, but there we go. This is a real solid deck. If you want a, a fast level up deck, definitely give this one a try. Um, fun to play, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There's a lot of good stuff here, and the the reach it still has good reach. Even even with Crimson Disciple only doing one damage now. Still spray fin decimate that still gives you some reach. We didn't really do very much with gangplank, even though we have three gangplanks, um, which kind of shows the deck's still good, even though we didn't really have our very powerful five mana champion too much. Um, still showed that our, our deck was able to finish out games just fine. Uh, I was very happy with the saboteur. I would not change saboteur. It was it was very good for me in those games. Um, you know, it was my turn on play, get, getting damage in, um, let me play like the, the plunder butchers and it also just gets that attack, you know, it just helps turn on the plunder for that. And it's an easy way to do damage. No, I, I was very happy with Legion's Avatar. I would not tr change that card. Okay. So there we go. There's our first deck of the day, Gang of Plank Burn. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, please leave those comments as well. Um, I would really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.